Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the main energy at the start of the day. Well, you have a beautiful card for today. We have here the Ten of Cups. You have just closed the chapter and there is happiness in your life, especially with your family, your loved ones. Everybody is celebrating. There's a certain celebration. Uh, suddenly what comes to me for some of you, there's a new addition in the family. It can be a new child. A new child who is a member of the family. It can be also... For some of you, somebody who has been gone for a long time has returned. Okay, so there's a certain joy. You are just happy just being together. I mean, uh, you're just contented with what you have at this moment. For some of you, it may just be a simple, just uh, you, you might not have uh, all the luxuries in life, but you have sufficient resources that everybody are happy and healthy and are able to live a comfortable life. So in a certain sense, yes, life has their challenges. But at this moment, despite of all those challenges, you somehow, you and your family somehow find moments together. Just moments to enjoy the love that can be shared within a family. So there's a certain joy. And all of you are looking at least most of you are looking forward to a promising future. Uh, there is that rainbow, that hope. And the rainbow usually comes after the rain. So for some of you, you might have just undergone some challenges or trials in the recent past. But now it's all over and you are looking forward to a brighter tomorrow. Um, I'm attracted to this uh, thought of a hammock. Uh, for some of you, try to see hammock, a you know the the one where you just hang it on trees or posts and uh, uh, you you sleep or rest. Yeah, there's something about a hammock. Try to see how this resonates with you. Now, let's try to see how this will further unfold. Okay, we have heard the Four of Wands. It will lead to stability. Okay, so the chapter is closed. Everybody is happy. And then there is that sign of stability, which is the Four of Wands. And again, there will be celebration and joy and dancing. Here the children are just enjoying exploring the beach. But here in the Four of Wands, people are dancing. And there is a celebration. What comes to me is... It's either a marriage or a baptism. So a marriage or a baptism, it's a celebration. There will be a celebration soon. And uh, you might be participating in it. You might meet people who can become part of your soul family or your soul tribe. Okay, People who resonate with you in a very deep way. Now, it doesn't have to be an opposite, opposite sex. No? It, it can be of the same gender. The important thing is that you resonate with these people. And these people can accompany you in your life's journey. Uh, you'll be guided by the stars. That's, what's, that's what comes to me. When you are with these people, your intuition becomes more heightened. And um, your, your intuition will be able to get more in touch with the divine in your life. So in a certain sense, these people have a positive effect in your life. And your situation right now will bring you much closer also to the divine. Now, what is the advice of the universe for you? Well, really, a child and a puppy. Okay. For some of you, there really is somebody, uh, a child coming into the life of the family. Okay, Into your life also, it can be. This little child will be a source of joy for you. 
I don't know why. It doesn't have to be that you're going to give birth to a child, but that's also a possibility. But there is a child that will bring joy to your life. Okay. Or it can be a childlike person. Okay. So this can be a person who's already mature, but has a very, very strong childlike characteristic. Okay. So the childlike characteristic of this person will bring joy and warmth in your life. For some of you, it's a new pet, a dog. Okay. A puppy. Okay. It can be your companion also in your life's journey, your source of consolation in those moments of solitude. This dog will accompany you. So it can be also, yeah, aside from a child for some of you, it's a new pet, most likely a dog or a cat. I don't know why these things are coming to me. They will be led to you. For some of you, even the child will be led to you. So for some of you, yeah. This child doesn't have to be your biological child. But somehow this child will find its way into your heart. Okay, so this child will be led to you. Or this puppy or this pet will be led to you. By one way or another. By the universe, okay. So it can be also that the child will be born to you. But I feel for many of you, it's just a child that will f you will just discover that there will be a child at this present moment that will bring you joy. Try to see how this will resonate with you. For some of you, it will be a pet dog that will find its way into your life and will bring color and hope into your life. Okay, so um, open yourself to such possibilities. Now, it will bring healing also. But I feel it's more of the presence of this. It's not only healing. They will make you feel young. Make you feel young again. Okay. That is what comes to me right now. It will make you feel young again. And somehow you will provide some form of stability to this child or to this pet. Okay. Hmm. For some of you also, yes, taking care of plants. Okay. It suddenly came to me again. Okay, so aside from the child or the dog, for some of you, it can be taking care of plants, of garden, of colorful gardens, of flowers, of... Yes, and this can be a source of joy. So whatever it is, there will be a source of joy for you. Something that will get your attention and warm your heart. So just be open to it when it comes. Welcome it with joy. Welcome it with gratitude. Now, let's go to Good Morning Oracle. Okay, let's try to see what is our random card for today. Golden crown. Beautiful. It seems that you will be more in touch with the divine. And these people who are like family to you, I think they're they're more of like a soul family, a soul tribe for you. This, whatever it is, a child, a dog, or a garden that warms your heart, will make you be more aware of the presence of the divine in your life. So, Right now, it seems that for some of you, your crown chakra is going to widen a little bit more. It's going to be less blocked, okay? You're opening up your, for some of you, you're opening up your crown chakra. And you will be more aware of the messages coming from the divine in your ordinary life. So usually, when, when you become aware of the messages, the divine talks to us with the most simplest things it can be the pattern of the branches of the tree the leaves of the tree the uh, the rocks the sky fire it can be through nature but it can be also through relationships 
and I feel at this time, you will be able to feel more the love and the care of the divine through relationships. So be open to relationships. If you have been like a hermit, if you have been in a hermit mode, well, if the universe right now brings people to you or brings nature or a pet into your life, openly receive it. Receive it with gratitude. There is a reason why they are brought to your life at this time. And they will teach you things. They will become messengers of the divine in your life. The joys, the tears, the experience of living with them will enrich you and will bring you closer to that awareness of the divine in your daily moments. So receive them with gratitude and always say thank you to the divine for all these good things that are coming your way. Well, that's it for today. I hope that you are able to resonate with it. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.